The first thing you would need to do when deciding to start a janitorial business or a cleaning business is to decide whether you want to uh, deal with commercial accounts. That would be your retail spaces, your medical offices, uh, storage units, anything that's a commercial build, uh, building, anything that uh, shows you that that place conducts business. Now, the residential uh, accounts, that uh, those are accounts where you are dealing with the um, homeowners and you're dealing with their residents. Sometimes it may be something like an Airbnb or a BNB or a Mr. B. Uh, it may uh, be something like a vacation home or maybe it's their main home and maybe they work because they're always busy and they just need a cleaner or a, uh, some type of housekeeper. Um, you want to decide which type of uh, cleaning services you want to be able to offer. Uh, we can uh, decide that for you. That's something that you actually, you're going to have to decide that for yourself. After you get past that, you want to make sure that you get a business name and you want to make sure that you uh, do your research and that you search uh, the name that you're thinking about getting. Um, you want to search it in YouTube. You want to search it uh, on the web and Google. You want to just do a general search on all social media platforms. You want to do a search on um, all of the internet browsers. Uh, you just want to do a general search for that name and see exactly what comes up. Because you don't want to be attached to something negative and then you don't want to choose a name where you feel like that uh, it, it's too saturated. You know, like when you go and try to search it, people can't find you because you're just blending in with everyone else. You know, it has to be... Uh, let, let me take a pause right now. Don't name your cleaning business after you. I know that, you know, you're proud and um, you want to be able to pass that name down and, you know, it's more than just a name. We understand that and we get that, but to get you to where you're trying to get to, which is five to six figures a year, you cannot, you just can't. You can't name that cleaning business after your, um, your name. Be creative, come with a name. Um, sometimes simplicity is good. Um, sometimes over the top is even better. We don't, you know, it's about what fits you and your brand. Um, that's something that you have to research on your uh, own and we also do some uh, future videos about that. And then you have to decide on, uh, you know, your colors and your logo. You have to decide what type of, uh, what type of message you want to convey to the crowd. Um, when I say the crowd, that means the uh, homeowners or whether that, whether that may be like business owners. They want to know um, what type of service can you provide for me and why should I use you. So um, you definitely want to have some type of mission, some type of objective. Um, so uh, all around business plan, you don't have to make it 10 pages, you don't have to make it 4 pages. It can be one page, but just be very precise and direct in what you're doing. And um, the next thing would be to make sure that you uh, incorporate your business, make sure that you legalize your business. So doing that, you can use a site like LegalZoom and we'll put the link below. Uh, I have no affiliation with them. I'm, I just know that it's one of the easiest um, websites to uh, get a business started. It's easy as one, two, three, and it's um, very affordable. Uh, so I'll put the link below, uh, LegalZoom. Y'all know I love to do that. Okay, so LegalZoom, um, they're going to be your friend because they're going to make your business essentially what they say, legal in a hair of Zoom, you know? So um, you'll be able to legalize your company and get your uh, documents and packages uh, through them. Um, you can legalize your company and get business cards. Uh, they can incorporate your company for you. Um, you can build a website and you can also have someone uh, be a marketing manager all through that website, uh, LegalZoom.com. So there's a lot of great resources uh, on that website as well. So you want to decide before you get there, you need to do some research and I'm going to do a separate video on this. But you need to decide uh, if you want to be a LLC, a limited liability company, or if you want to be a sole proprietorship. So a sole proprietorship 
is you primarily uh, having a business uh, directly linked to you. Uh, you have a higher risk with going that route because uh, if customers feel like that they want to take you to court, they can sue you directly. And um, not only that, but you have more uh, quarterly and annually uh, compliances to deal with. Um, when it's a legal liability company, um, the person can't sue you personally and sue what you have, but they can, um, you know, it's a, protect, it's a protection, essentially. It's a protection against um, people trying to sue you directly and personally. So um, it's a wonderful thing to do. Me personally, uh, I can't tell you what to choose for your company, but I do have an LLC. And um, I suggest you do your due diligence, do your research. Um, I'm going to uh, put a video up on a sole proprietorship versus a LLC, a limited liability company. And um, you'll be able to uh, make a decision from that point. Next, you need to, uh, honestly, you need to get your website up. You have to get that 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 website up. It is very important to get that website up because you'll be able to attract customers. You'll be able to approach customers in person. And you'll be able to uh, build that clientele base that's going to uh, build their uh, monthly and daily annually revenue that you're looking for. You, um, you have to build a website. You have to make sure that uh, it's straightforward, it's easy to use, that it's vibrant, it's a, you know, it is a representation of your company. It has to fit you. So make sure that your website fits you, it fits your model, it fits your uh, company, and um, everything will be uh, great from there. A uh, couple of places I like to go and um, make a website. Um, I kind of jumped ahead of myself there because some people may not know but first you need to get a um, website name. Um, so you will want to go somewhere like GoDaddy or um, you can search, search uh, the Google uh, engine for a uh, creator website or um, purchase a domain. So you can go to Do GoDaddy for your domain and we'll have that link below as well. And um, so once you choose your domain and then GoDaddy has some type of package uh, where you're able to get your domain and also your free website and set it up. And uh, so once you do uh, your website, you want to move into the marketing category where you're uh, making uh, business cards that matches your website, matches the whole theme. You want to take those business, uh, business cards and you want to uh, pull business owners to the side. You want to discuss your services. You want to still go door to door. You still want to do your cold calling. Now, cold calling is actually um, really simple. You can go through the Yelp pages. You can go through the internet. You can go through the uh, Google and uh, just search different businesses in the area. You can search uh, business offices, doctors' offices, clinics. You can search um, storage companies. You can search uh, wedding venues, uh, retail spaces. Uh, you can even uh, search model homes. Now model homes are uh, homes that the builders are building that hasn't been sold yet. There's like four phases to that type of cleaning. And so you can clean all the way until that home is sold. Wow, great revenue right there alone. So like I said, it depends on what kind of business you want to form. But uh, once you do have a uh, online presence, um, i.e. your uh, internet uh, website where the customers can go to, they can go and learn about your services, they can learn about your businesses. And you want to make sure that your website is secure and uh, you can do that by uh, getting more of the more, uh, get one of the more advanced packages that they have on GoDaddy's website. And um, so it comes with that um, site security as well. Now, once you have your site and you're doing your marketing, uh, you have to, Spend money, you know. You can spend thirty to seventy dollars on marketing. You can go on um, one of my favorites uh, would be uh, on Craigslist. You can put an ad for maybe uh, five dollars, and the ad will run all month for five dollars um, indefinitely. Uh, and so you'll get unlimited visitors to your website by them clicking the link. You'll get uh, leads, 
And also another um, great way to increase your customer base and to advertise uh, for a small amount would be places like Angie List, Nextdoor, Home Advisor, um, Thumbtack. Thumbtack um, is a good resource because that can land you to bigger opportunities. There's a lot of homeowners up there that have Airbnb homes. There's a lot of uh, vendors up there that uh, want to uh, give you an opportunity to bid on commercial accounts. You want to be able to follow these steps that I'm giving you to just jump out there and go ahead and get this business uh, started. Now, you have to decide what type of business you're going to do. If you go doing residential, I would, honestly, I would suggest you uh, getting into just uh, doing the basic cleans, the deep cleaning, and some window washing. Um, because that's going to require the uh, vacuum cleaner, mopping buckets, squeegees, towels, rags, and a lot of this stuff you have around the house. You can wash it, you can um, get it ready for uh, you to go out there and do some cleaning. You know, you can, if you say, well, I don't have any money. I don't have a vehicle. Well, let's start with the first one. I don't have any money. Well, I hope you're not nasty. I hope you are cleaning your home. Take those supplies and go clean somebody's house. <laughs> go clean something. Find a project to go do for money. Monetary gain. Because there's a lot of opportunity out there for cleaning right now. Everybody know the circumstances that we went through for the last two years. So there's a high, a high, a freakishly high demand for cleaners, janitorial staff. There's contracts that cannot be fulfilled and that's what this channel do. That's what PJS Academy do. That's what we do. <laughs> that's what we do. We teach y'all how to go to zero to 100 real quick. Well, nothing's ever quit. Well, yeah. If you put in these couple of hours a day that I'm telling you, if you do this step by step, it's gonna save you time, it's gonna save you hours, because guess what? I've been there, I messed up. And I'm telling you, and I'm showing you how to do this. This week alone, my company made $20,000. We only went to six locations. I don't think I understand that. You will fail if you don't do your research. So scratch all of that. So before you start your research, cut off all distractions, turn your phone off, turn the TV off, and dive into it. It's not gonna just fall into your lap. Yes, it sounds too good to be true. It's not, but it is hard work. It is time spent. It is nice crying. It is nice skipping meals or eating fast food. But you have to find a plan and a pattern for you that works. And I'm here to help you find your pattern. I'm here to help you find your niche in this cleaning world. I'm here to help you find your place. I'm here to help you find your money. Yes. Not money, your money. At PJS Academy, we start you from the bottom and we build you up. Only up from here. Visit us at puregenitor.com to join us for our master class where you will be given four classes a month for three months. And if you want to take that from five to six, we'll be holding our Super Conference, and the website will be puregenitor.com, and I need you guys to like, subscribe, but most of all, I need you guys to share this video, share this, don't be selfish, a lot of people won't like this video, a lot of people won't comment on this video, and a lot of people won't subscribe because they don't have the drive, they don't know, they don't have the know-how, they don't have the belief, they don't have the faith and they don't need any experience. But you need faith. You need time. You need to do your research. And you need to visit www.puregenitor.com.